Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys could be as good as Faceway or maybe even better but just I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to his level and hopefully this will help you out. It helped me out a lot and I do not play claw. If you guys do not know what claw is, it's when your index finger is like on your circle or on your B and it just presses all those buttons. I don't know why I'm talking like this but yeah so... It's when your index finger does that, but lots of people don't play claw, and that's what separates a really good controller player from a, like a decent one. So like Face Sway, he's super good at editing, building, shooting, and everything. So I'm, today I'm be showing you guys the main three main things you guys need to do to be as good as Face Sway. So let's get right into the first one. Okay, so the first one, as you guys can see, it's editing. Um, editing is really important in Fortnite, especially now since everything started evolving, like ever since Creative came out, everyone started getting better. So let me show you guys how to become better player in Creative. So the first thing you guys need to do is switch your edit bind. So if you have it in circle, do not do not have it in circle. Circle is the worst thing you could have it at. So what I have it at, it's a edit L3 and it's super easy for since I don't play claw. So I, I put this L3, L3 and I put this as unbound because you don't really need it and confirm. My, my confirm is the same as circle as the default one but yeah I really recommend you have to switch if you do like you. I don't recommend, I, you, I, I'm telling you, you have to switch. So this is my settings, my edit sensitivity, and make sure you guys, lots of people ask me how I run when I switch to it. It's toggle sprint, or sprint by default, I have these on. Make sure you guys copy exactly all my settings if you want to be as good as face sway, or as good as me. Because uh, I become a really good controller player, and I really recommend my settings. So... The first one right here is just editing. So what you guys want to do is get all everything, all the builds out and practice on them. So the first stage is set editing and let's get into it. So wall, since I have it L3, I have the edit down, like I practice a lot. So make sure you guys do practice a lot. So to edit a wall really fast, I usually go down depending on the situation I'm at. So if I'm probably stuck in a one by one, I'll probably go like this up. But make sure you guys just practice editing walls like this. If you guys mess up a lot, it's fine because you're practicing. So you see, I, I'm going down. I don't really prefer going down, but yeah. So, and then people always tell me that circle like to confirm isn't good but I, I think it, it's really good so make sure you guys do practice your walls and another important thing is resetting your build so make sure you, like your fingers it's all muscle memory so make sure you're you're used to just resetting your wall so my resets are the same the default lots of people do r1 but i don't know about that but yeah so Reset is normal and yeah, just practice walls. Walls are probably the most important thing to practice in Fortnite since you really use walls for everything more than anything. So practice those walls. Make sure. Oh, I just got a huge life spike. But make sure you have walls down. Just this is the most typical wall edit you guys should do. So make sure you guys practice those. The next one is ramps. For ramps, make sure you guys are used to just like cutting them in half like this. I don't know what it's called, just making them into like smaller stairs. So yeah, make sure you guys practice that. More advanced ramp edits are just like turning them upside down like this. So if you guys first recommend you to just practice this with a new edit bind if you just switched, it's really good. And once you get better, you could like start messing around with ramps, learning how to move them, like any direction, and it really helps you out a lot. Because like ramps are like the second most important thing in Fortnite when it comes to edit editing. 
So the next one is cones. So cones, they're, they're probably the definition of the skill gap in building scenarios. So like, this is a little bit too advanced. I don't know what I'm doing, but so when you guys are practicing them, just practice placing cones down and just editing them. So like this, or you could practice with your friends. So when they're like trying to get high ground, you could like, here for example, I'm going for high ground and then cones. If you don't know, you could cone someone. What I do is cone them, then do my 90s. And that this is what helps you get high ground a lot. And uh, you guys should use it too. Start learning how to use cones. I don't know what your skills are since I'm probably talking to lots of people, but make sure you practice your cones. And the next one is also important is floors. So make sure you have your floor edits down. Same as the other edits, like if you build this and just edit it, make sure you have you have everything down, all the buildings. Cause face way he practices every build. He probably did practice when he started becoming really good. You have to practice every build in the game. Know how to use them. And yeah. So this is the editing. If you guys do want to get into more advanced editing. Like the symphony. That was really slow. Why am I flying? The symphony. Like that. Um, you guys could practice that. This takes a little bit more time. Since it's a bit harder. But I do not play claw. And I could do it. So if I don't play claw. And I can't do it. And I could do it, you guys could do it too. So let's go into building, and building is super important, so let's go into it. Okay, for building, the most common thing I recommend is learning how to do 90. So you guys all probably jump with X. Um, for me, I jump with L1, so I don't, I understand how hard it is for you guys to like jump and do your 90. But for me, I place cones down with X or A for Xbox players. But that's what I do, so... I understand how hard it is, but I have friends that could do 90s jumping with X without claw. And they're really good. But for 90s, for me, um, I just go on top of the ramp and then do the 90. So like this. Lots of people, they do this extra building. But I, I don't like 90s like that. I just go on the ramp and then make the 90s like that. So that's how I do my 90s. And and I really recommend just practicing at least 20 minutes a day just 90. If you're not that good. Because when I started doing 90s, I was like this. And then that's really bad. And you'll never get high ground on people like that. So make sure you guys, when you're doing 90s, keep moving forwards. Like, jump forwards. See how my guy is constantly running forwards? So make sure you guys do that. And that's what separates a good 90 from a bad 90. Okay, for the next, for the next part of building instead of 90s is these, I don't know what they're called, but it's just a floor under the ramp, the triple layer or double layer, I don't know. But I say when building, this floor is probably the most important, like the most important. Because like, it secures like from them coning you or from blocking your opponent from down there. So we make sure you guys, if you guys don't know how to do this, practice it. It's really easy. Would I, I always place my floor first, but that's my opinion. But lots of people always place the ramp first. I, I can't do that. It's just really weird. I, I got used to the floor. And make sure you guys do that. And once you get better, when you do your 90s, you could go like this. And yeah. So make sure you guys practice those things in editing and building. And the last thing before we go into the face way montage is make sure you guys practice every day. 